Today we are providing a brief idea about specifications of test sieve. The calibration of various test sieves is carried out as per the specifications mentioned in IS 4602020. It is mainly distributed in three parts which are as follows. Part 1, for wire cloth test sieves. Part 2, for perforated test sieves. And Part 3, methods of examination of test sieve. Coming to our scope, we are performing calibration on test sieve as per IS 460 Part 2, 2020. These standard covers test sieves with sieving medium of perforated plate having either round or square apertures, according to particle size. It applies to test sieves having round holes from 125 mm down to 1 mm aperture size and square holes from 125 mm down to 4 mm aperture size. Following are the apparatus used in this test, that includes various perforated plate sieves and a digital vernier caliper. Test sieves are designated by the nominal size of aperture in millimeters, followed by the inscription IS sieve, C, or IS sieve, R, where, C, stands for square holes and, R, stands for round holes and this nominal size is generally expressed as, W, the nominal pitch designated as, P, which is center to center distance between two consecutive holes and expressed in millimeters. The arrangements of holes is shown here that is classified as per shape of holes which are round holes test sieve or square holes test sieve. We are performing calibration on square hole test sieve. Today in this video for information purpose we are performing the calibration of 50 mm diameter test sieve. The test is carried out as per IS 4602020. Bring the sieve to upside down direction and with the help of digital vernier caliper we will start measuring the aperture size of test sieve. We are going to measure the size of test sieve holes in both X and Y direction simultaneously. We are now going to measure the center to center distance between test sieve holes which is described as pitch. As you can see, we are measuring pitch in both horizontal and vertical direction as per specifications. Tolerance limits as per specifications for nominal size of hole and pitch is shown here. Thickness limits as per specifications for various test sieve is shown here. The perforated plate in the sieve shall be examined for general condition against a uniformly illuminated background and if obvious faults, such as irregularly formed holes, ragged edges, and burrs upward are found. The sieve is unacceptable. Every aperture in the perforated plate test sieve shall be eligible for inspection for compliance with the requirements when in IS 460, Part 2, 2020. The sieve is unacceptable if measuring of the dimensions of holes and the pitches over any selected area of the plate exceeds the tolerance limits. Here are some examples of sieves which are unacceptable. In this sieve, we can see that there are ragged edges or damaged edges and also unevenness. In the sieve, we observe that the surface of holes is totally corroded and thus there is a variation in measurements of aperture and pitch distance. 
In the sieve along with corrosion, the damaged edges are also observed which is defined as worst condition of testing sieve. Another example of perfect or acceptable sieve is also shown here, where the edges are smooth and perfect, holes and pitch are in proper dimensions, and surface is clean and free from corrosion. As per IS460, Part 3, 2020, in any selected area check the holes along each of two straight lines of at least 150 mm length and including at least 10 holes, 5 along each direction, the lines should be at 90 degrees or 60 degrees for round holes and at 90 degrees for square holes. Alternatively for square holes, check holes along a line parallel to a diagonal of the holes for at least 150 mm and at least 8 holes. The calculation for determining sieve calibration is as follows. All the measurements shall be reported in millimeters and the condition of sieve at the time of calibration must be mentioned.